Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your waning gibbous in Aquarius general reading. So this is covering May 30th through June 1st. And waning gibbouses always come after a full moon. So they're all about releases. And Aquarius energy is all about being innovative, your own person, and really it's to inspire the greater good. So as a collective, this waning gibbous in Aquarius is teaching us to release something that's going to get us more in alignment with ourselves to inspire people. So let's see what you need to release, Sag, for this waning gibbous. I'm hearing it twice. Cut three times. What does Sag need to release for this waning gibbous in Aquarius? What is the energy being released from Sag Spirit? Let's go. Let's find out. Let's get some messages. Ace of Cups in reverse. No more feeling sorry for yourself is what I'm hearing. This is the energy of um, not renewal, something not working out, and something not working out that really is affecting your heartstrings, your feelings, your emotions. Um, let's see what that's about. Let's get another energy for that. What's the other part of that message, Spirit? So there is something with a release of emotion. And then we have the Four of Pentacles. This is about being very greedy, um, really lack consciousness, holding on to something for dear life because you don't think there's going to be more of where that comes from. There's an energy about, it's almost like blocking your own blessings in terms of looking at things from... I don't even want to say a negative perspective because Sagittarius, I know you guys are very prone to looking at things positive, positively and full of optimism. You guys are the archers. You aim your arrows high. But I feel like something is like getting you down or making you feel like lack about something. Yeah, Ace of Swords in reverse. Maybe it's an idea you have. Maybe it's never been done before. I feel like that does make sense with Sagittarius energy. But you, or maybe it's talking to someone, because Swords Energy is the mental plane, but there's something that you need to get off your chest, I feel like, that you're holding back on. I feel like it's, um, it's some sort of feelings for someone. We have Miracle and Perception coming out, and this isn't even supposed to be a love reading, I'm just reading the cards. Um, I do feel like it's almost like if you shift your perception, you will see the miracle. That's what I'm hearing. If you shift your perception, you will see the miracle. There's something you're looking at, and it's almost like you're looking at it as it happening to you rather than for you. But realize when things fall apart and things fall away, it's also another energy can come into its place. So I feel like spirits like shift your mindset because whatever you're focused on now is somehow not serving you. It's like you're focusing on the lack of something. And I feel like spirits like get into the vibration of looking at the miracles and looking at all you have to achieve and accomplish. All right, so we have Neptune in Capricorn. And let's see what house that one wanted to come out. In the seventh house, which is Libra energy. So we have the idealization of dedication to achieve balance. So this is something about getting in alignment, getting in balance, confusing regarding focusing on cooperation, confusion regarding focusing on cooperation, sacrifice resulting from the rules imposed by your partner. So it's almost like getting into better alignment with yourself. Um, better clarity, better alignment, listening to your intuition on a, a more heavy scale, we'll say. Inspire others with your goals diplomatically, so be fair. Be prepared to sacrifice for the day-to-day -day reality of relationships. Yielding is the only way to use the most business-like way to get a fair deal. So there's something about um, kind of compromising with other people and letting other people have a fair chance to say something. And maybe that's why the universe is like, no, like maybe you're not getting this chance to speak to someone or speak your truth or get something off your chest because maybe they were never given that opportunity and there needs to be some sort of equal fair play here I'm not saying you took that away from them maybe they didn't say it and so maybe whatever you need to get off your chest it's just not the right time for that but I feel like you're looking at it from a negative perspective rather than something that's happening for you so whether it's a person or something that just didn't work out you got to shift your perspective 
we have the masculine and resistance. So the masculine is all about ambition going for it. I love that the moon cycles are literally right on here because it's telling you that it's actually affecting you. And then we have resistance. So it's almost like a, re a resistance to going forward and doing something. Maybe it's a resistance to speaking your mind about something, but there's a resistance to your miracles. I feel like there is an energy about blocking your blessings. All right, more for Sag. What does Sag need to know during this waning gibbous? Joan of Arc, the warrior of light. I have a steel-like faith in myself. The angels armor me with conviction. Yeah, this is definitely about um, living your truth, going after something, expressing yourself. This is all about like expression. I feel like there's some sort of expression that you're holding back on. We have three today. Love. Yeah, it's an expression of love. Listening and the warrior. This is an equal balance of listening, talking, kind of clearing the air. And I love that we have the warrior and the masculine definitely going forward. And we have the warrior of light too and love. This is definitely like this kind of turned into a love reading, but it could be a love of like your passion or your dreams, whatever it is, you need to look at it from a higher perspective of it happening for you, not to you, Sag. So I hope this resonated. Thank you so much for watching this waning gibbous reading and I will catch you in the next moon phase reading.